Once you have created your Canvas account, you will now be able to navigate through courses that your student or students are enrolled in. Upon opening your Canvas account, you will see the dashboard. The dashboard will have a collection of tiles or cards that represent courses that your student is enrolled in. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will only have one card or one class. Your student will probably have several different tiles. On the left hand side, this is the navigation bar. At the top, you will see the Henry County Public Schools logo. At any point while you are navigating through Canvas, you can click on this logo and it will return you to the dashboard. Account. This is information and various items you can access inside Canvas. You can log out here. You can view notifications from your teacher. This would be announcements concerning due dates, grades, and various other items. Files. This will allow you to view any files that your student has uploaded to their Canvas account. Settings. Settings is where you can find your email address that you have submitted as part of your account. You can also actually also add an email address if you feel the need. Observing. This will give you the students that you are currently observing and again, if you need to add a student to the account, you would put their pairing code in this blank. QR code for mobile login. If you want to use a mobile device, such as a phone or a tablet, you will need to add the Canvas app for parent. Once you add that app and open it, it will request a QR code. Please go to this on your Canvas account. Now, take a picture of this code and it will log you in on the Canvas mobile app. Global announcements. These would be announcements that are sent out by the admin for Canvas, such as your school principal. Returning to the dashboard, I can go to courses, which at this point would be a listing of all the courses your students are enrolled in. I can choose calendar. The calendar can show you upcoming events such as assignments or announcements in either a monthly view, a weekly view, or as an agenda, which would simply be a list. Inbox. The inbox will allow you to communicate with your students' teachers. You can choose Compose select a course, then select the teacher, put in a subject matter for your email, and then the body, and send the email. This is a private email that will only show up in your student teacher's account. Your student's teacher can also communicate with you through the inbox. History will show you the history of this account and the things that have taken place recently. Studio is not accessible by a parent, but the studio is where a student would access video files uploaded by the teacher. The help button will produce links for various help sites inside Canvas. Returning to the dashboard, on the right hand side, you can see upcoming announcements or assignments. Again, there is another link for your calendar, and you can also view your students' grades. On the grades for the student, you can sort them by grading period or by due date. If your student is enrolled in multiple classes, there would also be a drop down here where you could change the class that you are currently viewing. You will see a listing of assignments for the current grading period. You would see a score if the assignment had been scored and the number of possible points. If you want more information about that assignment, the title of the assignment is actually a link. By clicking on that link, 
it will take you to the details concerning that assignment. Once inside the course, you can return to the home page for that course by clicking Home. You will find the syllabus for the course, and you will also see modules. Modules are the method by which your teacher has divided up their class. This may be by week, it may be by grading period, or it could be by day. To navigate through the modules, you can click on the first part of the module, which will take you to the lessons and the assignments within the module. At the bottom of the page, you can choose Next to go to the next part of the module. You can also choose Previous if you want to return to a previous point. If you want to navigate directly to one part of the module, simply click on that link. Again, you will have another link for grades. And perhaps various other links for items that your, school, your student's teacher has added. Once you are done viewing, you can return home which will take you to the home page for that course, or you can go to the dashboard if you wish to view a different course. Okay. Now choose Observing. 